Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're going to hit a ton of the new government maps for monitoring the world. Seems you guys like the magnetic pole shift viewer. We'll get some others today, including tsunami events, microplastics, springs, and crustal magnetism. But we are starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. We find the last day was quiet again. Solar flaring did reach up into M-class range, but today the bigger concern is going to be from plasma filaments. While we could still see some X-ray flaring activity, it's less likely to be directed at Earth. And for a few days, that is going to be the case with the big spots departing on the right and nothing big coming in from the left to replace them. But we do have a fair number of those filaments. And don't forget a coronal hole stream should be arriving here shortly. Will be a minor one. The thin, dark, snake-like ropes you see here are the filaments. They are our top watch right now. Up first in the articles, you remember that asteroid that scared everyone a couple weeks ago and then they said it definitely would not hit the Earth. Well, that's still the standard, but they say it does have a small chance to hit the moon. The article and the 3D interactive of the rock are available at the link below. So folks, it seems approximately 0% of you were utterly disappointed with the magnetic pole shift viewer, so I figured, hey, if you like this one, maybe some of the other resources would be helpful as well. First, they have updated the Crustal Magnetic Viewer. It is somewhat cleaned up from the previous version, which was getting a bit messy to be honest. You can scroll, zoom, and when you get super zoomed, you can even toggle the opacity to make sure you're looking where you think you're looking. Up next, and folks, catch this one quick because it will be deleted soon and I do not know if they plan to replace it. You do need to know about nearby springs for both water resource and for safety reasons. Linked below today as well as is the microplastics viewer. Now this one doesn't really offer real-time assistance, but it's interesting to look around at some of the big surveys and see what they did find. As various points on the globe, spending about an hour with this one will give you a pretty good idea of what they found and where. Interesting one up next that I'm sure several of you are going to play with today, it's the tsunami timer map. You pick your ocean, pick your genesis point for the tsunami, see how long it would take to hit your coastline area not wholly useless. And last but not least, this one's just eye candy. They've tracked every tsunami event since 1850. Gotta say, there's a lot more than I anticipated seeing. And they even tell you if it was a quake, volcano, landslide, solid little map animation there. And the last thing we'll see today is an update to the Mars CME impact video. What the electromagnetic and dynamic activity of the solar wind looks like interacting with Mars' puny induced field and ionosphere. Last time they did Venus and then the Earth, so hopefully they're going to update our little blue rocks here shortly as well. Every time I get data about space weather impact on Mars, by the way, I honestly wonder if Elon is as crazy as he is a genius probably is. I'm okay with that. But folks, as we look at the spin round version, let's get a shout out for Gold Co. Goldobservers.com for sponsoring our documentary on the magnetic pole shift, Earth disaster cycle, and great solar flash. We have indeed gotten pushed back a bit in our timeline for the release, but that's because we had AI animation breakthroughs that nobody on Earth has ever pulled off before, and we got some more top level global experts wanting to weigh in and be a part of the film. We figured that would be worth it. And if you haven't seen the recent gold to silver ratios, oof, this is economics 101, about as basic and easy as it gets. You know there's moves to be made there. Serious preppers like me get medals because they protect finance now. They're barter rich in a pinch, but in the catastrophe, gold is conductive and easier to work with than copper. It fully shields electromagnetic radiation, and silver is antimicrobial upon contact with blood, plasma, or skin oils, and tiny little infections are going to kill so many more people in this catastrophe than I think any of you realize. Yeah, that's goldobservers.com. Highly recommend you catch up. Don't forget to come see us at Observer Ranch. I'll be out there a lot the rest of the month, including a special Q&A for those doing the quail prepping class on Sunday. It's a bonus for those of you coming out. It all starts at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.